I'd like to brief the approach quickly, if you don't mind. Oh, no, not at all. Okay. The Unicom is 122.72. And I want to make sure that I've got that available. It's a GPS approach starting from Bondo. We go to Giwi and in to Fogba. The minimums are 740, and the missed approach procedure is a straight-ahead climb to 2,000 feet on the 242-degree course to OCC intersection, which is out over the ocean. And our missed approach point is Fogba Waypoint, which is right at the runway threshold. And there are some notes, but none of those apply to us. You know, we're past our expect further clearance time. And I think that uh, we should have heard something. Um, I'm going to give a call. SoCal Approach, Skyhawk 166, Charlie Sierra. How do you read? SoCal Approach, Skyhawk 166, Charlie Sierra. Do you read? Um, we're not getting a response on this. Uh, it looks like I've lost my comm. And we're past the expect further clearance time. So, uh, Mary, I'm going to go ahead and start the approach. Okay. Okay, descent checklist. Power is back. Mixture is full. Um, altimeters, PFD set, standby altimeter set, altitude select is set, nav source is what I want, FMS is checked, and wing flaps will hold on those for a little. Descent checklist is complete. Oh, look, Martha, you're, it looks like your display is starting to flicker. Huh. Oh, no, not really. Oh, my gosh. It, it looks like it's, it's failed. It's gone black. Okay, well, in the G1000, it's pretty easy. I can hit my display back up, and over on the right-hand side, I get everything that I had on the left-hand side, my engine instruments, attitude indicator, altimeter, and everything. And what I need to do is be working cross-cockpit, but, uh, but that works, and I can go ahead and fly the approach that way. What, what if you can't use a reversionary for some reason? Uh, well, if I couldn't use the reversionary for some reason, for one thing, I would take the autopilot off because I wouldn't have any indications of what the uh, proper uh, mode was, what mode I was actually in. And what I would have here, though, would be the moving map, which would give me really very good situational awareness. And I can pull up my flight plan, and I can also see on there how I'm crossing each one of the uh, fixes on this approach. And uh, I also, of course, have my standby instruments, my airspeed attitude indicator and altimeter, and my magnetic compass up here. Uh, but something that's very helpful is on the moving map, I've got the compass rose, and it's showing my track, not my actual heading, but unless there's quite a wind, it's going to be very, very similar. Uh, and so I can use it for really good situational awareness and help uh, uh, getting to the airport. Sounds good. So okay. if you had an AHARS failure, we'd still have a few things left, right? That's correct. That is correct. Well, in this airplane, we'd still have our backup attitude indicator. Uh, that's why we have a standby attitude indicator. Going down now to 2,800 feet. And let me see if the radio is working any better here on this frequency, the Unicom for Oceanside. Oceanside traffic, Skyhawk 166, Charlie Sierra. Uh, is inbound on the GPS approach runway 24 from Giwi. We're about uh, eight miles to the east, full stop. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm keeping, I'm keeping my aircraft track 
lined right up on the GPS information there. I'm using my standby altimeter for the altitudes on the approach. Of course, I have my attitude indicator, standby attitude indicator, in order to make sure that I'm not ending up in another unusual attitude. Coming down to 1,800 feet, which is for the final approach fix altitude. I'm going to put some flaps down, 10 degrees now, but I'm not going to put full flaps down until I'm sure we can land because it'll climb a lot better with only partial flaps. And I have plenty of runway here. Oceanside traffic, Skyhawk 166 Charlie Sierra is five miles to the east on the GPS runway 24 approach. Uh, full stop. At least that's what I intend, Mary. I'll let you know when we get close to minimums. Our okay. goal is to get down to that altitude to look for the airport, right? Right. We're headed for 740 feet MSL, and our, our minimums are both in our altitude select, although I'm hand flying it, and they're showing barrel minimums. And we're coming up on that altitude. There's the minimums. Okay, I'm just beginning to see the airport out there, Martha. Airport in sight. Okay. Take my foggles, please. I have the foggles. Do you have the airport in sight? I have the airport in sight. Excellent. Tom, it's your lucky day. Coming in with full flaps. Mixtures rich, fuels on both. Does Tom have his seat belt on, Mary? Affirmative. Thank we're, you. We're, we're all belted up. Oceanside traffic, Skyhawk 166 Charlie Sierra, short final, runway 24, Oceanside full stop. Oceanside traffic, Skyhawk 166, Charlie Sierra is clear runway 24 at Oceanside. <laughs> 